Hi YouTubers, it's uh, Monday, September 11th, and I thought I'd come on here and give you a short lesson on how to use natural harmonics on the guitar to make your song endings more interesting. So perhaps you play songs where we're just chording, and we're looking for something to add a little bit of pizzazz to the end of the track. So here's, here's let me give you an example, and then I'm going to show you where you can find little pockets of three notes, three notes of natural harmonics that sound together, that work together, that we can use in different keys, okay? So here, let's say we had a song like this, uh, in the key of G, and I was gonna wind it down. That's kinda cool, right? Just, just throwing in that natural harmonic group of three notes there, in the applicable key, just to give it a little bit of an extra something for the listener. So, where can we find these groups notes and what keys do they apply to? That's what you care about, that's what I'm going to show you. So, first one, this is one of the easier ones to sound. If I go to the physical fret 12 and I just put my finger very lightly touching the strings, not pressing the strings, but just lightly touching the strings on string 4, string 3, String two, I can sound them together. Notice I could take the finger away and it should still sound. That's in the key of G, that little triad there. So to make it sound good with that final G chord, I'm gonna play it, play the bass note, then strum the rest of the chord. And when I strum the rest of the chord, that's gonna cancel out the harmonic. So again, you notice it was harmonics, bass, strum. Okay, that's physical fret 12 on strings 4, 3, and 2. That's your G triad. Works in the key of G. How about this next one? That's, again, strings 4, 3, and 2 on the uh, physical 7th fret this time. That's a D triad. So that will work if I just use a regular D chord at the end of my song. end on the harmonic and that's it. Okay, what else? Strings 3, 2, and 1 on the 12th fret are in the key of E minor. So if I'm ending a song in E minor, I go to strings 3, 2, and 1, play the bass, and then strum through it. And I can use it that way. The last one I'm going to show you is fret 7, strings 3, 2, and 1 is actually in the key of B minor. We could use that triad there, play the bass, and then the rest of the chord, and that will work in the key of B minor. So there you have it. As a recap, fret 12, physical fret 12, strings 4, 3, and 2 gets you the G triad. Strings 4, 3, and 2 on fret 7 work in the key of D. Strings 3, 2, and 1 on fret 12, work in the key of E minor. And lastly, strings 3, 2, and 1 on physical fret 7, work in the key of E minor. And there you have it.